I'm ever so sorry, my lady. I didn't know you had company. This is Mrs. Crawley, my cousin. You'll find she's a frequent visitor. Good day, madam. Hello. Denker is my new maid. She's trying to find her way around. Well, Did you have a question, Denker? It can wait, my lady. Well, I, I was going to ask you about the luggage and which cases you prefer when you travel. Well, I don't travel much these days. Why don't you ask Sprat? He'll help you. Oh, he'll help me, will he? <laughs> That's good to know. If you'll excuse me. There you are. You took your time. I thought you'd rung by accident. How else would you like to be summoned? By Joshua's trumpet? I prefer not to be summoned at all. At any rate, not by you. Take these down to the car. I'm going to fetch her gloshes and umbrella. I hope you can manage a few days without Denker, Spratt. I hope that will be fulfilled and gladly, my lady. Are these all the cases, Denker? Your ladyship is very sharp-eyed. We are missing one. Well, since Mr Spratt was given the task of bringing them down, no doubt he's put it somewhere special for safekeeping. Oh, how very considerate of you, Spratt. Fetch it now, please. But, your ladyship, I do Fetch the case, Spratt. I don't think I've noticed that before. My mother's maid gave it to me as a wedding present. She, when I was a girl, if I was ill, she would make the most delicious chicken broth and serve it in this. There's nothing better than chicken broth as a pick-me-up. <clears throat> no, and it really was delicious. I remember it to this day. She used to say every good lady's maid should know how to make a restorative broth. Those days are gone, I'm afraid. Quite gone, eh, hey, Miss Duncan? I'm not sure I'd agree. <laughs> Sprat, you mustn't be jealous when Denka is saying she can cook. I was not so much jealous as dubious, my lady. You'll have to prove him wrong one day, Denka. Yes, prove me wrong and make us all a delicious broth. Well, we'll see. That's right. Seeing is believing. Eh, Miss Denka? Mrs Crawley said how much she enjoyed the evening, my lady. It was colourful. Thank Mrs Potter for the delicious dinner, but please tell her I need a rest from such rich delights. Are you ready to go out, my lady? Yes. What about some of Miss Denka's famous broth? I'm aware that you're teasing, Spratt, but as a matter of fact, it would be very nice. Miss Denker, would you take up the challenge of the wooden spoon? Well, wouldn't I be in Mrs Potter's way? I'd never want to be a nuisance. I bet you wouldn't, and there's a stove in the still room. Could you manage with that, Denker? I'd be delighted, my lady. You see, Spratt, not every spring and lever obeys your touch. Well, so this is the famous broth. What else would it be? Are you ready to be judged on it? I should be judged by you, Mr Spratt, whatever happens. Well, if you mean I will judge you for promoting yourself through lies and fraud, then uh, yes, I will. So will she. Your unmasking is at hand. Oh. Oh. Got it, then. Oh, Denka. Oh. I was talking menus with Mrs Potter and Spratt reminded me about the broth. He didn't want your efforts to be overlooked. I'm sure he didn't. Not a chance. Of course, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, my lady. Indeed. So, may I taste it? It can't be. It's not possible. There's a point, Spratt, where malice ceases to be amusing. 
Thank you, Denka, very much. I'm not hungry enough to do your soup justice this evening. Let us save its delights for another day. Whatever you wish, your ladyship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Ha, 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 ha.